Hey everyone, Pupsker here. Today in Warframe, we're gonna go over how you can quickly farm up the Void Plumes in order to get, you know, Zeremin Holdfast Standing, or just generally use them as building materials. These are a new resource that has come to the Zeremin ship. Once you complete Angels of the Zeremin, you can get them in a ton of different ways, essentially, and any of the new Void missions, you can pretty much farm any one of them, so it's pretty convenient and nice like that. So let's go over how you can quickly farm all of them. First and foremost, we have Quinn right here. Here you can accept bounties and you can also get bonus Void Plume Quills by completing the objective right here. So this first mission gives you Void Plume Down possibility, guaranteed Void Plume Quills if you do the bounty objective. This one can give you a Void Plume Vein and this one can give you a Void Plume Crest. But the fourth level, you know, highest level bounty cannot give you any void plumes other than the bonus void plume quills up here. So I would recommend you always get those done if you're running a bounty as it's very, very convenient. So loading into any one of these Zeremin missions, no matter what, at least one void plume quest will or crest will spawn and at least two void plume veins will spawn. Other than that, they mostly spawn as either Void Plume Downs, Void Plume Veins, and I believe there's a ton of Downs, right, because they're the lowest one. A good chance that you'll get some Void Plume Quills, as those are given out if you take an item to the little Cephalon out in the Void mission. But we'll go over that as I'm going to go run a quick exterminate to show you exactly how these new farming locations work. To get the highest level Void Plume Pinion, you have to find an angel out and about in one of the maps. You can farm the Void Plume Quills, I believe, from killing the third or is it fourth round angel, Ravenous Void Angel, in the Void Armageddon. So you can also run those missions as well. But essentially, the way you find Void Plumes in this new mission is just look around and use your audio cues because Void Plumes spawn now all over the mission tiles, right? So there could be f like five in this general area. There won't be five because that'd be way too many, but it's a possibility. What you want to be looking for is either A, items on your loot radar as void plumes show up on your loot radar. So you can 100% use something like high range Zaku in order to find all of the uh, void plumes. You can destroy everything and pick it up. That's a method. You can use what high range, Ember if you want, high range Limbo, just to destroy all of the little boxes around and trying to collect, collect up the Void Plumes. There are also little lanterns in the game that a ghost will spawn. This is a behind area. Ghosts will spawn and take you to the Void Plumes. So there's a lot of hidden mysteries in this general area. And that's why I want to show them to you, right? You can just hide behind there. There's some loot sometimes. It doesn't look like there's anything big here this time, but Void Plumes will be hidden in those hidden areas. So it's important to keep that in mind. There's a ton of little areas like that currently in Angels of the Zeremin. So that's probably what I'm going to be doing for a long time. But where is it? I want to look for either the Void Plume Quills that are just straight up on the ground or the Void Plume Lanterns. They make a little noise, spawn a little ghost tenno, shows you where to go. Luckily, it is everywhere in the map. There they are. These are little Void Plume I guess lanterns, Tenno lanterns, call them what you will. These spawn, these little ghost Tenno right there. These ghost Tenno will run and take you to areas of interest in the map. They can take you to Void Plumes, they can take you to Iotins, they can take you to the Soma Cord, they can also take you to, I think, the Acolytes in order to hand those in for Void Plume Quills. They can also take you to rare Orican Caches. It's pretty crazy if you ask me. So I think uh, that's right there what they look like. This one is a Void Plume Down, the most common one of course. And Void Plumes spawn literally all over, so if you just run around and look in your loot radar to find them, good chance you'll get them. So that's mainly how you get the Void Plumes. The highest level Void Plume is acquired by spawning an Angel of the Zeremin, okay? And in order to do that, there, another lantern. By the way, these make both a noise. 
and uh, they like have a visual effect, so keep that in mind. The Ghost Tenno always does take you to a place of interest, so yeah. But again, you just have to farm up high-level angels around the map in order to get the high-level Void Plumes, or just play around all the other missions to get all the other ones, play the game, run around. Sometimes the children are stupid, and as you can see, they can take you to the same spot. <gasps> but this one took me to this hidden area. See, even spookier took me to a hidden void plume down right there. So if you're good at these, if you know where all the hidden areas are, you're gonna be pretty fast at collecting all of your standing. But that's pretty much how you find the void plumes in the general of the game now. The last thing I want to show you is an Angel of the Zeremon out in just a random node, as they can spawn, and I believe one is guaranteed to spawn, in every Zeremon node. The Angels have to be interacted with, so you want to, once you find an Angel of the Zeremon, walk up to it, and then click X on it to awaken the Angel. They should, I believe, also be singing, as they are Angels of the Zeremon, right? They release their sings, so... If you want to look out for an angel singing, you might find yourself a strong enemy. But I'll let you know and cut back to once I actually find an angel, as it's a little annoying. And if I find any Zeremon acolytes, I'll show you those as well. And just so you're aware, these little doors here, this little child just took me to it, they have these that you actually have to destroy, the door console, just because sometimes there are void plumes behind there. Oh, we found one of the more hidden void plume veins. I still haven't found the angel though, so don't worry. I'm gonna still look for, look around for an angel of the Zeremon. They essentially just look like these, except freestanding angels instead of just in the wall right there. So yeah, just a little example there. Okay, so I was actually able to find one of the Zeremon accolades right here. As you can see, that doesn't appear on the loot radar, but A, it lets out a high-pitched noise that you can hear. C, it will always be spawning near the thing you actually take it to. So, you take the accolades to these to get the Void Plume Quill, and it will always spawn in, I believe, either the room where it is or beside it. Other than that, the only thing you need to know about is the angels of the Zeremon that just spawn randomly around the map, and yeah, I mean, I'll try to keep finding one, don't worry. There it is, an actual wild angel of the Zeremon. Simply walk up to it, wake Void Angel, and this is how you get your Void Pinions. I think that's how you say it. Words are hard anyways. But remember to stack up your damage, and then you'll have a pretty long fight for these guys, so I'll probably end up cutting to the end. I do have a full guide on it if you're curious anyways, but doing these solo on a like level 50 mission is not too bad. You just attack, go in, do damage, destroy the orb, and bada bing bada boom. By the way, the golden circles that spawn here when you uh, land down, I should probably mention that uh, those are just like a little damage boost. Yeah, that right there. That's just a little damage boost area, and I believe a shield as well, so can't get hurt in here, and I do extra damage to the angel. But as you can see, the angel of the Zeremon fight is, uh, is really fast. It's not slow if you know what you're doing. I want to see how much damage my little turrets do to it. Oh, you know what? Not bad. Actually not bad at all. It's just because this is a, like a level 50 Void Angel, okay? The higher level ones in like a Steel Path or the Bounties, they're gonna be a little tankier, right? They do take extra headshot damage, if you weren't aware of that. But yeah, for these guys, you just gotta simply hit those. As I did in my last guide, rinse, repeat. Ah, oh, you just keep doing it, right? Pretty easy. And then, once this happens here, you get your Void Pinion, you're good to go. Oh, uh, I feel bad for the Void Angel, but bada bing, bada boom. Void Plume Pinion. And that is how you can get all of the Void Plumes in the game, okay? So, I hope that helped. Hoped it wasn't, uh, one this wasn't a little too long-winded, but that is how you get literally all of the Void Plumes. Hope it helped, hope you enjoyed. As always, if you did, like, say, favorite, Subscribe, check me out on Twitch, Twitter, all the other socials. You can use the Epic Game Store creator code Pupsker if you ever want to support the channel as well. So, thank you, and I will see you next time. Peace.